Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about the parameterization of the test object. Now to explain the concept of parameterized test object, I will use the Amazon web page. Now in the Amazon web page, I have searched for this item and it has listed down all the item which is fulfilling the search criteria. And you can call this as item grid, which have multiple items. Let me find out the X path for this particular item. So as you can see here, this div represent the entire search grid. So I will use this attribute. So $x for identification of X path span at the rate, the attribute which we have selected just now. After that, the first div and inside the div, every div represent the element present inside the item grid. So this will be slash div for immediate child. One more div with index as one. And inside the div we have under h2, there is a span which has the item text. So slash slash h2 slash slash span. So as you can see here, this X path represent the first element in the grid. Similarly, if I change the index to two, this will represent the X path pointing to the second element in the grid. And if I change the index to three, that will point to the third element in the grid. So as you can see here in our X path, the based on the index, the item is getting selected. That means this is a parameter to our X path. So we are going to discuss how you can parameterize this X path during the runtime when you are executing your script from the Catalan Studio. So first of all, let me create a test object which will represent this X path. So here I will add one more directory called parameterize. Inside this, I'm going to add a test object with name search underscore grid. Selection method is attributes. Just click on add, select X path and specify this X path. And also click this particular checkbox because I want to use this particular X path for detecting the test object. Now, as we know that this index is a parameter to our X path. Based on this index, different web element is getting selected in the item grid. So in order to make this X path as parameterized, I'm going to replace this value with an variable. Now, in order to use a variable inside the X path, you need to follow a special syntax that is dollar open close curly braces and the name of the variable so which is index now you can use any other name also but this should be the syntax of specifying the variable in the x path that is dollar open close curly braces and the variable name So dollar open close curly braces index. Now this has become a parameterized test object. The value of this particular parameter will be supplied by the test script during the runtime. You can have single parameter or you can have multiple parameter also such as this one. Like dollar component so this is how the parameterized x path or text object is represented inside the catalog studio the variable name followed by dollar open and close curly braces okay 